lei sì, sempre per me Calo che dà una palla bellissima a Grand Golden So I was in the, uh, the Italian first division this year uh, I played for Vinoli Cremona uh, the city of Cremona is a small town about 70,000 people 45 minutes uh, south of Milan um, so we were in a very cool city uh, in the north very close to a lot of the bigger cities in the north so Lots of fun um, in terms of travel and everything like that. And the city of Cremona itself was great. Uh, I really enjoyed being there, the people, the team, everything like that. So it was a good year. Buongiorno a tutti. E benvenuti alla conferenza stampa di Grand Golden. And I told my agent um, when I sort of was deciding that I wanted to, to make the move overseas that Italy was one of the, if not the top country of the ones that I would like to go to. And, Um, this opportunity with Cremona came about. Um, they were in the second division the year before and they won everything. They won preseason, midseason cup and the championship. So they were back in the first division and uh, it was just a good opportunity and a good fit. And um, again, I was super excited about the potential opportunity to go to Italy, the country. So that's sort of the decision we came to. I think our coach, you know, when he called me uh, in the summer before I decided, made any decisions, and he was kind of trying to talk to me about the team and sort of what he was, his envision of it. Um, you know, he was very big on having a, a five man that, that had the ball a lot, um, kind of played through, play through the five man a little bit and everything. So um, it was good. So our apartment building was super nice. Um, i was on the first floor of our apartment, so we, uh, I had a very nice little garden patio area in the back uh, that I, I took full advantage of. We were in a really good spot, so you could kind of get to every like major city in the north, like easy trip on the train. Um, we had cars for driving if you wanted to, but it was awesome. Super small town, like I said, but like lots of tradition. The restaurants, the food is incredible, amazing. Uh, definitely the wine and became a little bit of a whiny, but uh, it was great, it was great. I went to all different kinds of cities. Uh, I mean, any Bologna, Venice, Rome, Naples, I, I saw everything, so it was awesome. Uh, obviously, when you go to places like Rome and see the history and the museums, the Vatican, all that stuff, um, to see that in person um, really, really is the only way that you can do it justice. Yo, here we go, folks. Coach Mooney and his entire staff, um, basketball-wise, anybody who wants to play professionally and comes through Richmond, like, you're going to be prepared for that. The spacing and the offense, like, I think that just sets you up to sort of be ready for, for every kind of offense, no matter what it is. Um, I think you just get a higher basketball IQ in general when you come to Richmond. So no matter what system you go into in the future, um, you're kind of prepared for that a little bit. I would love to go back there. That's what I told my agent um, for sure. All depends what happens. I got to see what comes along, um, you know, whether it's for another team or back in Cremona potentially. Um, whatever it may be, I would love to go back to Italy. But it's a long summer. Um, if there's something in another country that comes about, it, obviously uh, I want to do the best, uh, best move for me and my family. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But going back to Italy certainly certainly wouldn't be a bad life to live.